Hi you guys, welcome back to another vlog. I have a couple updates in regards to my life, my job status, all that stuff, but I'll fill you in after I go to the grocery store. We're gonna do a little bit of a stock up at Publix and grab some stuff for the week. So I'll fill you in on everything when we get back, but we're gonna head to the grocery store right now. We just got home from the grocery store. We got a bunch of stuff to help last us um, at least a couple of weeks. So I'm gonna show you guys what we got. So first we got some asparagus. We're gonna have this for dinner tonight. We're gonna do some steaks that we got a few weeks ago when I went to Trader Joe's. So we're gonna do that with some asparagus. I got some spinach for smoothies. Since I have been home, I've been doing smoothies in the afternoon and it's been nice having a little fruit smoothie with some spinach. So got some of that. I'm cheating and I got some onions. I'm gonna be cooking chili tomorrow for the first football Sunday of the season. I feel like you can't start football season without chili. So I'm gonna be cooking two crock pots full of chili. I will share the recipe tomorrow. I've shared it before multiple times I think on my channel it's a really good chili recipe and I know it's not <laughs> fall yet or even remotely cold in Florida but something about chili on a Sunday is really good and the chili recipe also calls for unsweetened cocoa powder I know that sounds weird but trust me it's really good I got some limes for water got some of these brown rice thin stackers these are really good with some guac or avocado as a little snack in the afternoon. Got some romaine lettuce. Got a bunch of little frozen vegetables for dinner. We needed more avocado oil, so I got some of that. Got a bunch of ground turkey for the chili. Got some of our favorite Siete chips. Got the nacho flavor and then the chipotle barbecue, which is so good. Got some cheddar cheese for breakfast sandwiches. Got some of these sweet Lorenz. These are really good. Got some dairy-free yogurt. I've actually been putting this in my smoothies and it's been really, really good. So I got the unsweetened vanilla for smoothies and then these for the morning. We got some blackberries, some shredded cheddar cheese, for chili, some lemons, some more milk. I love the milk cashew milk from Elmhurst. It's so good, so I got a bunch of those. Avocados, these are all of the canned items for the chili. It's a lot because I am doubling it. Every time I make chili, I always double it. it just makes it really easy and it freezes well for a few months, so that's why I do it. Bananas. Got some ravioli for an easy dinner. Got some eggs. This is gonna be for lunches for the week. Just some chicken salad. Got this for tonight. We're gonna do Alfredo with um, pasta. I'm doing the chili with bone broth just to make it a little bit healthier. Just to add something. Some salt pepper. And then of course I got a pineapple. I always get a pineapple. It's like my favorite fruit right now. So that's the haul. I'm gonna put all of this away. Okay, I've shared this before, but I thought I'd share it again because it's been a little bit. But I buy my lettuce like this, bagged and unwashed. And I basically probably only go through a head of lettuce every like week and a half. I don't really go through three heads of lettuce in the amount of time that it would take for it to go bad. So how I prolong it is I wrap the unwashed, uncut up head of lettuce in tin foil and I put it in the drawer in my fridge and it lasts up to a month in there. A tip too is leave this on the end of each head of lettuce 
So then I'll wash this and I'll store it in a bowl with a lid. And that helps keep this probably fresh, maybe even up to two and a half weeks. So yeah, it's my little lettuce tip. Um, Cause I never go through a whole bag of lettuce in time. And this is my biggest tip to help make it last longer. So after I wash the lettuce, I take like two rags that are clean obviously, and I dry them pretty fully. And then I take the bowl and I lay just a paper towel down in the bottom. And then just <laughs> lay down the lettuce. And then I layer the lettuce with a paper towel between it like this. And then I put a paper towel on top. And I cover it with a lid, and then I put it in the fridge. <laughs> you guys in on basically what I've been up to the past few days since I last vlogged since I last told you guys what had happened and honestly I just feel like really weird and I think in the beginning I almost debated on even saying anything at all but I'm glad that I did because I really just like haven't been feeling like myself um, lately I've been just like feeling really like knocked down so it's been, obviously since I do share my life on YouTube and on the internet and online, it's going to be, I haven't posted that vlog yet where like I announced it, but it is going to be like very overwhelming for me to post it and share because not that it's embarrassing because people get laid off all the time, lose their jobs, whatever, but I feel like... I don't know and I'm like not saying any of this for pity or anything but I feel like I don't know I feel like life just like knocked me down when I was like already feeling kind of down so um, I'm just like kind of nervous for that video and for people like to know or like find out or whatever because I like to think that I have my life together and I feel like right now I just don't have my life together and I feel really overwhelmed I feel like stressed about the unknown and um, just overwhelmed so I've been doing a lot of research on open jobs that I'm interested in with specific companies doing a lot of research on those companies just doing a ton of job searching and um, applying I've applied to so many jobs that I'm obviously interested in and with certain companies that I find would be great companies to work for stuff like that and um, I actually came across like a really good job opening slash opportunity and I actually interviewed yesterday which was Friday and the interview went really really well um, I know there will probably be a second round of interviews but just cross your fingers for me probably by the time you see this video i might know if i got the job or not if i do get this job it would be just such an incredible opportunity and with an incredible company so keep your fingers crossed for that i'm just trying to remain super positive and um try and just really figure my next step out so 
that's the update i'm going to um watch some youtube and just hang out for a little bit and then christian and i will cook some dinner and i'll obviously show you guys what we're cooking and i'll finally show you guys um how he cooks the steaks so he'll walk you through like a really good way to cook steaks and we get our steaks from trader joe's um our fillets so yeah so i'll probably pick up the camera again when it is dinner time okay it's a little bit later we're about to start cooking some dinner we're gonna walk you through how christian cooks the steak i think the key though is the type of seasoning that you use too he yeah, used it's just generic stuff chicago. weber yeah chicago steak seasoning nothing crazy pat dry that they're as dry as possible season both sides of it pretty good amount a lot of it's gonna burn off Put a little bit on there season both sides looks like maybe a lot but it's really not like i said a lot's gonna come off and then you're gonna want to roll the seasoning or roll the steaks in the seasoning so you can get the sides because they're thick steaks a little bit more there you go that's it right there those are good and then we just cook them on the grill so how long do we put this on for? About five minutes each side. If it's that, you kind okay, of have so to just feel it out. Like five maybe minutes. four minutes. Okay, so, so you just what's four to four minutes each side? About four rare? minutes each each side is medium rare, yeah. Yeah. So you let those do. So once so I leave the the, the top open okay. for the first four minutes. And you flip and you close the lid for the next four. And the sides for the steak, we're gonna do asparagus and we put this on it. We got it from Costco. I'm sure you can find it on Amazon too. It's really good on asparagus and I really like it on Brussels sprouts. And then we're gonna do some of this pasta we got from Trader Joe's with this Rayos roasted garlic Alfredo. And I think the water is just about boiling. Okay, here is the finished product. You gotta let them rest for Two or three minutes, mm -hmm. and they look perfect. We'll do a cut reveal in a few minutes. Oh, it, is, it, <laughs> it is kind of a weird pasta sauce. I mean, not pasta sauce, pasta oh, selection. I mean, it is good, but I feel like fettuccine always works best with Alfredo, but this will do. <laughs> We're trying to use what we have in the pantry. Cut reveal. It's pretty perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. Perfect, medium, rare. That's good. It's really perfect. Okay, I have visitors. Is that the road? Yeah. Maya went to Trader Joe's and got some pumpkin bread and muffin baking mix. So she brought it over and we're gonna make it into little muffins. So I'm excited. It's gluten free too. So I'm excited. I'll keep you guys updated on if it's good or not. So you guys can grab it next time you go to Trader Joe's. It smells so bad. I don't know if it's my lips or that that smells good. <laughs> I know, they don't look that good, but I mean, they could be incredible. I just went down to the mailbox and I got a package from Merit Beauty. And I've worked with them before in the past and they just came out with their bronze balm and they sent it over to me. So I got it in the shade. I think there's a few shades. I got it in the shade clay. I didn't want it to be too dark. Wow. 
it is stunning this is the color that i got maybe we should try it right now i do have makeup on but maybe i can just try it right now and see let's do it and then i got a restock up there their brow products and i got it in the color blonde because i'm blonde and i tried the other shade of this in like their light brown and it just pulled really red on my brows so i didn't love it so i went with the blonde this time and we'll see if it works but they upgraded their packaging to this gold and it's so stunning so i'll link it down below so let's try this out all right let's try this i'm actually gonna use their brush with that i use this for blush as well but looks really nice i think i need more blush and i use merit's um blush and i have two of them this is the one that i wear every day it's the beverly hills shade i literally wear this every single day and i love cream products and then this is mood which is a little bit darker but i'm gonna put a little bit more um blush on and i put blush on my nose my forehead right here and then right here and i bring it up like that i love the bronzer though i feel like it added a little bit i think it looks really good you can obviously build it up make it a little bit more dark but for like natural look every day i love their products i use their products literally on a day-to-day -day basis yeah i'm excited to have this so i got it in the color clay all the information will be down below anyways just wanted to share i i'm about to start probably in the next hour or so start cooking the chili so that way it's ready for dinner and I will show you guys that when I start it. And we say it for the first time this season, seven hours of commercial-free football start now. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I just brought out the crock pots and I divided up all of the canned stuff and then I already measured out all of the seasoning for each crock pot. Like I mentioned yesterday, I'm doubling the recipe and um, I'm making some substitutions. I'm using bone broth instead of just regular chicken broth and I'm using um, ground turkey instead of ground beef. Yeah, I think those are the only substitutions I am making for the recipe, but it's probably my favorite chili recipe ever. So I'll link it down below. So I'm going to start cooking up the ground turkey, onion, garlic, and then assembling it all into the crock pots. So that way I can start cooking it because it takes about five to six hours. So I'm going to put it in the crock pot for about five and a half.
Okay, it's a lot later. I just added the um, kidney beans to the chili. The chili has finished cooking. That's how late, how much later it is. Um, I was editing my YouTube video and now it's uploading. So that's what I've been doing this whole afternoon. And we're about to eat this. I put some biscuits in the oven and those are almost done. And we're gonna make our bowls of chili. This smells so good. Okay, I've been staring at a computer screen for far too long, trying to link all of my items from my last video. But I wanted to go ahead and end off this vlog here. I'm gonna pick back up um, tomorrow with applying for jobs, researching jobs, stuff like that. But I really just am hoping that I get the job that I interviewed with on Friday. So I don't really know. It's kind of just like I'm waiting, but I'm still gonna be applying, still gonna be researching, still gonna be putting myself out there just in case it doesn't work out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you're subscribed and i will see you guys in my next video bye